Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on ReefBrite's XHO K-Series LED add-on kit for Radeon and Hydra fixtures. And yes, I'm going to show you the part chart so you can see exactly how they perform with both a Radeon and a Hydra. If you're looking for an easy plug-and-play solution for adding an additional blanket of evenly spread diffused fill light to your Radeon or Hydra fixtures, improving their overall spread and ability to wrap corals and light from all angles that fits perfectly with your light's existing mounting hardware, requires no bulb changes, and increases both par and color pop, then ReefBrite's XHO K-Series is what you've been looking for pretty slick. One thing that can be hard to account for during the early stages of a reef tank is how coral growth is going to affect lighting in the aquarium. As corals mature into larger colonies, shading often occurs, especially between the branches of Acropora, Montipora, and other SPS, which can cause poor coloration or even tissue loss in those shaded areas. There are a number of options to add fill light to prevent this type of shading, like using multiple smaller LED fixtures instead of fewer larger fixtures, or a upgrading your current lighting solution with a T5 hybrid fixture. While both of those solutions work well, buying multiple new LED fixtures can add up quite quickly, and T5 hybrid solutions require bulb changes, tend to be bulkier and heavier, meaning your existing LED's tank mount likely won't be able to support the weight. Enter ReefBrite's XHO K-Series add-on kits for Radeon and Hydra fixtures. These kits are fantastic options for adding an even consistent spread of fill light to help reduce shadowing between corals while increasing overall par and adding some fantastic color pop. And as Randy has shown, the XHO LED strips are as effective as T5 when it comes to par output and spread. And I'll show you exactly how these XHO add-on kits work to improve the overall par distribution and spread of your Radeon and hydro lights and make for an excellent combo for a 24 by 24 inch cube tank using a single fixture or for larger tanks using multiple fixtures. In the box you'll find the two reef bright strips, the brackets and mounting hardware, the power supply, power cable, and splitter cable. The XHO add-on kits include everything you need to attach them to your existing Radeon XR15, Hydra 26 or 32, or Radeon XR30 and Hydra 52 or 64. First, remove the light from the mounting arm. Next, place the XHO brackets over top of the light. Then, attach the XHO light strips to their brackets using the screws in the ends of the fixtures. Lastly, attach the light back to the mounting arm using the included XHO screws with the XHO brackets sandwiched between the light and the mounting arm. The XR30 Hydra 64 add-on kit that I've got here uses two of ReefBrite's XHO actinic blue fixtures with a total of 32 3 watt LEDs, while the XR15 and Hydra 32 kits use a total of 16 3 watt LEDs. All of the LEDs share the same wide blue spectrum with coverage between 430 and 500 nanometers, which is great not only for coral growth, but also for color pop. And they also share a single reflector that blends and disperses the light evenly, creating a diffuse blanket of light. Each strip can also be tilted or pivoted to direct the light where your corals need it most. So if you have a particularly shady spot in your tank, you can address it directly by adjusting the position of the XHOs. You can also add intensity control to the XHOs with a simple and affordable inline dimmer with six intensity settings or a Bluetooth adapter for advanced wireless control through the ReefBrite app. With that said, pointed straight down within a 24 inch by 24 inch cube tank at 100% intensity, these ReefBrite add-on kits have a solid performance. The AI Hydra 64 gained from 70% on its own to 78% of points falling in that 250 to 350 par range for SPS, and the Radeon XR30 Pro gained from 72% to 78%. Between the increase in par and the addition of two more sources of diffuse light, the XHO add-on kit does a great job of wrapping corals and light from all angles to prevent shadowing between individual corals and within their own branches. The data really isn't all that surprising since Randy's already shown that a single XHO strip performs as well or better than a single T5 strip. In fact, if you wanted the par and spread performance of a T5 fixture, but with zero bulb changes and the color pop that LEDs are known for, reef brights are the way to go. You can see for yourself exactly how well a bank of XHO LED strips perform in this video right here. And I'm gonna be honest, after seeing that video, 
I'm not at all surprised that Ryan decided to switch from his gold standard of LEDs with T5s over to LEDs with more LEDs using the XHO strips on the BRS360. It makes sense.